Jamaica, one of the largest English speaking islands in the Caribbean, is famous for its warm, sunny climate, lush beaches, its music as the birthplace of reggae, luxurious all inclusive hotels, friendly locals, and world class athletes. Among global top sprinters are Jamaicans Usain Bolt, Shelly and Fraser Price, Asafa Powell, Nesta Carter, Merlin Otti, among many others. When it comes to track and field, Jamaican athletes are known for creating a spectacle on the field, with one of the most memorable events being the 2015 Beijing 4x100 meter men and women's relay final. The athletes displayed impeccable skill and talent as they secured additional gold medals. Jamaica, however, is also known for its high rate of violent crimes, and children and adolescents, unfortunately, are not exempt from the horrid criminal activities that plague the society. Over the years and in more recent times, Jamaica has seen an increase in such activities directed specifically toward children. Children are frequently victims of neglect, emotional, physical, and sexual abuse. Mitigating child sexual abuse has been cited as a top priority as it is considered to have the most damaging impact on a child's well-being. As a call to action, we believe that each member of society has a role to play in responding to and ultimately preventing all forms of abuse, including child sexual abuse. In similar fashion to a relay race, each individual has the responsibility of passing the baton of care and protection along until each and everyone has played their part and the race against child sexual abuse is won. Such should be the approach to responding to child sexual abuse. On your marks, set, go! All children have the right to protection. They have the right to survive, to be safe, to belong, to be heard, to receive adequate care and to grow up in a protective environment. When a child experiences abuse, it is never their fault. A child should not be blamed. Instead, parents and guardians must pay keen attention when their child is exhibiting signs of abuse. They must also listen and respond to when a child discloses abuse. Some signs of sexual abuse includes unexplained changes in behavior, withdrawal from friends or usual activities, body injuries, including of the breast, genital, anal, or penile area, pregnancy or a sexually transmitted infection, blood in the child's underwear, engages in inappropriate sexual contact with other children, statements that he or she was sexually abused. Passing the baton, child to parent. Once a parent or guardian suspects or is aware that a child is being abused, whether sexually, physically, or verbally, they must report it. Parents should be a safe haven for their children. In responding to child sexual abuse, parents are encouraged to show that they understand and take seriously what the child is saying, assure the child that they did the right thing in telling or disclosing. A child who is close to the abuser may feel guilty about revealing the secret. The child may feel frightened if the abuser has threatened to harm him or her or other family members as punishment for telling the secret. Tell the child that he or she is not to be blamed for the sexual abuse. Finally, offer the child protection and promise that they will promptly take steps to see that the abuse stops and report it. When parents listen to and respond to their child, this initiates the process of recovery. The child will feel assured having been heard and this will in turn build or strengthen the bond of trust. 
passing the baton parent to community. Communities also have a role to play in the fight against child sexual abuse as its members are responsible for building a safe and child-friendly environment outside of the child's home. Neighbors, friends, close family members, schools and churches are all considered part of a community and can be essential in mitigating child sexual abuse. Once residents within a community suspect or are made aware that a child has been sexually abused, their responsibility is to also report to the relevant authorities. Passing the baton, community to state agencies. The Child Protection and Family Services Agency and the Center for the Investigation of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse, or the police, are typically the first responders to child sexual abuse. They investigate and process reports or incidents of abuse. They also provide services such as counseling, possible relocation for a child who has been sexually abused, and support to families of victims of sexual abuse. Passing the baton, state agencies to government. The government has a duty to identify, deal with, and prevent the issue of child abuse, including child sexual abuse, by creating the legislative environment and policies that prohibit such form of victimization. Through the Child Care and Protection Act, for example, the Child Protection and Family Services Agency is empowered to act in the best interest of the child as it carries out its function of investigating cases of child abuse, caring for children in state care, and engaging in advocacy to prevent child abuse. In addition to this act, the government has also implemented other legislations that ensure children are protected. These include the Sexual Offenses Act, Child Pornography Act, Offenses Against a Person Act, Trafficking in Persons Act, and Cyber Crimes Act, among others. The government has also adopted several treaties and established policies that safeguard the nation's children against violence and abuse. Together we can endeavor to eliminate child sexual abuse by ensuring that the baton of care and protection is successfully passed from one entity to the next. As part of Nun in 3 Jamaica's commitment to responding to and preventing child sexual abuse, i.e. passing the baton of care and protection, we have developed a serious pro-social game called Gabby that is intended to educate children about the issue of child sexual abuse. This game will increase awareness and foster empathy for victims of child sexual abuse. Through evidence-based findings on the issue of child sexual abuse in Jamaica, our team of qualified researchers, highly skilled game developers, and well-trained support staff, we have developed this game specifically designed for Jamaican children. We anticipate that through this serious game, children will become equipped with the relevant knowledge pertaining to child sexual abuse, empowered to report such forms of abuse, and develop empathy toward victims or survivors of child sexual abuse. Join the call to action. Let us ensure that our nation's children are protected from all forms of abuse, especially child sexual abuse.